Yo, okay, so I did not know, but I'm at 182. I just, like, looked up the videos for this series, counted them up. I'm at, like, 182 or something. So I'm not that far from 216. Like, I, like, wanted to give today to working on this because, like, it's the end of the year. Like, it's December, and I'm, like, the lot, like... It's kind of a thing with me sometimes, especially this year and last year. That like, at the end of the year, like, I try to, like, not that I fully succeed, um, but, like, I try to do, like, the things that I've thought of doing during the year that, like, I wanted to do that year. So, like, this is one thing. And then um, most of the rest of the stuff that I've thought of doing this year would be, like, writing-related um, so, and my computer, my laptop is, uh, fixed, I believe, so I should, so I can go pick that up at some point, maybe this weekend, and be able to do writing stuff from anywhere, but, as far as these, yeah, no, that's, that's dope. Like I didn't, I did not know I was, cause there was a time where I was like at like where I was, I, I don't know, maybe in the low hundreds or something. And then like now I'm at 182. Like when did that happen? <laughs> like, cool. I don't know. Maybe it's been a while since I last like counted or something. That's but cool, like, and it's been, and it's the last videos that I've been doing, like, it's been, it's been good, uh, reflections or good stuff, like, reflection-wise or development-wise or, wow, yeah, this has been a good journey, but, so here's the the issue and the challenge is that I have not opened the satanic bible for probably months and kind of the challenge has been like trying to remember stuff without going back and looking at this point let's see what I can remember from that book that I haven't already said all these months later it's not like this is the Bible that is where it's like a long book and like I've read it three times. Like the only time I've read this book is this year. It's been months. I haven't looked back in because I'm trying to do this from memory. Let's see if there's anything I can remember that's new. I don't know that I've said this. Um, there's something where me and Anton overlap as far as like the idea of like, because I have this thing. That's kind of like fiction, like maybe it started like back in undergraduate for my writing minor where for the final, uh, for advanced creative writing, I did a novella and um, so it was like a 60 page collection of like rhyme, like poetry like I combined poetry fiction and nonfiction, actually kind of but one thing that I said in there was like um all right there is kind or at least there is kind of the idea of like fiction is in nonfiction and nonfiction is in fiction or something like that um like there is even a little rhyme about like combining poetry, fiction, nonfiction, or something like that. But the idea that, like, fiction is in nonfiction and maybe that nonfiction is in fiction, something like that. There's something in the Satanic Bible in the beginning that's, like, um, something about, like, imagination. Like, there, there's, so, like, he, I don't know that in how he says it, that it's, like, fiction and nonfiction or something like that, but, like, I feel like there's there's something he has that's like kind of like similar um 
or maybe overlaps that's like that has to do with like imagination and like maybe the importance of imagination or something that is kind of like the fiction um non-fiction thing that I was doing back then and got into in true heartfeltization storm this year like it's just a, it's an idea that gets revisited with me kind of um and his what is something that it, it might be early in the satanic bible too where there's this idea of like something with imagination and like that's that kind of has a similar that's kind of similar to me to the fiction nonfiction like fiction and nonfiction and maybe not necessarily the nonfiction and fiction part but But true, but maybe, I don't know, but there's some connection with his imagination, with some, it might even be like a quote that's early in the Satanic Bible, or maybe just something he says early in the Satanic Bible, but. Also, before that, I was thinking, I haven't said, like, I think Anton's white, <laughs> like, I don't know for sure, <laughs> like, but he's not black, <laughs> so we have different ethnicities, that there we go <laughs> said that way that kind of counts or that should count i think there is a time that anton visited or talked with i think me i think i would i would think visited but there's a time that anton i think visited i think he i want to say he visited um these like people that he could it seems like he kind of had maybe hopes in he ended up being disappointed but there i don't know if they were like black magic kind of people or, or dark magic or i mean i guess as far as anton's concerned there shouldn't be a black magic and a white magic as far as i understand but um he visited some type of people i don't know if it was magic related or satanist related or what but there is this this group of people that i don't know if they had a rep for whatever kind of group they were but he like he i think visited them and was disappointed <laughs> they were not so i guess they weren't uh all that i don't know if i don't know if they're hyped to be or what like he might he he must have had like hopes in them kind of i mean shoot if he went to go visit them and then came back disappointed that that basically spells that um but I can't, I don't, like, I, and, and they might even have been, like, a, I wonder if they were, like, a tribe or something, or some type of, like, social, that actually might be it, I don't know for sure, obviously, it's been a while since I've actually looked in the book, but it may even have been, like, maybe a tribe or something, or some type of, like, social, like, low community or something like that, or, or group, or, It might, it may, may, not for sure, but it might have been a tribe or something like that. There's a guy that I work with in stagehand stuff. I don't do stagehand stuff as much as I used to. Um, that was like my main thing some years ago. Um, and the person that got me into it, I'm not even like per se cool with anymore. But if he came and talked to me, then we could maybe be cool. Because in a sense... He could, he, in a sense, he's almost like a brother, but he might be past that. Um, but I was getting so, like, done. Or, like, anyway. But, so this year I ended up being able to get back into stagehand stuff again. Um, not as much as before. But, um... There's someone who I knew back from before doing stage and stuff that even yesterday doing stage and stuff was there. And like in the past, there's a, he has some issue with Christianity or Jesus that has like affected my being able to be at peace with him in like my perception of him or conversing with him and stuff. Even though I talk to him all the time, even though he like really loves me and a pre like like as a person and like 
has bought me like food before, like one time downtown and like and like like one of those people that like loves m- my person um but like it feels weird being like since he has such an issue with Christianity or Jesus which makes sense because like even I have an issue with Christianity like excuse me Christians can be can be very like overbearing and can hence leave like a negative taste or just can leave an imprint like a bad imprint or it can affect or can leave a certain perception or annoy you or (laughs) something um but but yesterday though he was talking about his like how his like so he does radio shows and i mean i don't know if he still does but that's a thing that he's done and maybe still does and he was saying his favorite radio show that he did was one where he like was just casually throwing out like hail satan or like and and maybe saying like i think six times six times six stuff um that was one of his maybe his favorite radio show that he's done or one of his favorites or something and it was him and someone else in that show it sounds like in that particular show it sounds like but yeah that's like in my so i i already got another thing out of that but to continue relevant talk or relative talk like or to have an offshoot conversation out of out of what i was just saying like in my heart or in my something like if I don't address it's like it's like I don't flow with time I guess is one way to put it like if I have issues with if if something's not resolved like even with this person I'm talking about like that hit like I mean there I mean it's 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 probably it might not just be one time that I've ever heard him have like issue with Christianity or Jesus but like it just the the one time that is the main thing probably he probably like there is maybe something about that that so because it's it's not just just anyone that has issue with Christianity or Jesus like I have issue talking with but like I don't even, I might not even remember what the specifics of what he said or how he said was and it's not like he was I mean it probably wasn't too too long of a thing but like it just like cuz I'm on God's side or but then again, what is that? What is even being on God? Because like, let's say he, because he likes me as a person, right? Or he like appreciates me as a person. Well, if I'm connected to God, then that's actually good because then someone who is connected to God or thinks they're con- then someone who's connected to God in some way, like, is then finally doing positive for him. Like, it's almost like all the more important. Like, and of course, like, people at different points of their journey, they're going to be like, just cause he, like, it shouldn't even be a side, like, I don't know. Like maybe, maybe there is something that I should, that as far as like finding, having peace in my heart, like maybe I should be like, well, I'm okay with Jesus or like, or something or, or God takes care of me or something or yeah, sometimes I'd, don't even know if God is real, but I know there's something, or sometimes I even doubt God exists, God's existence, but there's something that's been taken over, or something, like, maybe it's just that I have to say something, but should I even have, it? do I even have to say something, or is that, like, insecure, but the all the things that we feel like we need to do inside to have equilibrium, like, it's not that those are, like, black and white like how things should be it's just it's what we need for ourselves to feel equilibrium which is part of um which partially maybe captures truth but it's not the fullness of it like if he has 
issue however in the way of however he said it before that like stuck with me a certain way even though I can't remember exactly what he said but like and then I but then I'm connected to God or feel like I'm con or think I am or whatnot like I could be like, cause I can, like, I have issue. Of course you people have issue with Christianity, Christian, like it's going to bring that out of you because like Christians are annoying. Christians are overbearing. Like Christians don't validate your like existence or your journey. Like it's like, this is what you need. You need to come to this, whether it's blatant or whether it's like sub lip, like undertone, like they don't val like, and it's not just one Christian that you're going to run into in your life. So like you're, you may develop like this animosity or whatever, like it makes sense. And he is, he's a kind, like a, like a fun, like a uh, peaceful, like he's like a laissez faire. Like he has a good, he's a good like heart or a good character, a good person or whatnot. Um, so like, but for me, that just, that's just always like affected my being able to like dance with them, so to speak, or truly in my heart. There's a, but then again, there's different people that I have unresolved whatever in my heart, and that sticks with me until I resolve it. And so it's like I get stuck in time. <laughs> it's one way to look at it. Because like as time flows, I should just maybe do what I can in the moment, say what I can in the moment. If if something's really, really, really important to maybe force myself or get myself in some fashion to be able to address it or, and if I can't, then move on or try to wait for the opportunity where the topic comes up again. But like, I just get like stuck in time with different people with, and maybe even different ideas in my head or something maybe that like I haven't brought out into fruition. I mean, there's a good side of how I work with all that stuff and that, like, I keep my word and that, like, I do what I say I'm going to do, or at least most, or, for, or at least that, uh, like, I remember things that I say I'm going to do and I try to do them. Like, so there's, there's kind of a good, maybe a good side of the, of a good side of things that's maybe connected to that same, like the same personality to the same aspect of me that makes me get stuck in time might be connected to the same aspect of me or might be the same aspect of me that like I get stuff done or I don't like forget about that, that I more like maybe I'm not perfect, but um, more people have probably been negatively affected. I mean, at least on a surface level, at least on a surface level, more people have been negatively affected by Christians than Satan related people. Or Satan connected people. Um, but then I mean, but then how much positive, but then maybe like Christian or Jesus connected people do a lot of, maybe have a lot of positive effect on the world as far as they're at. Yeah. And that's actually true because like Salvation Army, that's Christian based. Um, like, so actually, I mean, you'd have to, you'd have to do all the math or do it like add the positive, subtract the hurts. And I don't, I don't know what that all looks like, but. So actually, I mean, it may be that Christians put hurt into the world, but they also do good for the world. And Christians are generally more centered than like your general American layperson of this day and age, I think, or at least in my experience, I think. Doesn't mean you don't end up having beef with a Christian because like from one family, like the person that I 
was thinking of as, as a sensei. And then in my mind also thought that maybe I'd end up being his sensei. Um, because I thought I was like teaching him stuff, but, or something like that. But, um, but him and before him, his son, I ended up having an issue with too. So, and those are both Christians. So not that you can't end up having issue with Christians in your heart, but like Christians tend to be more like centered versus like the general American lay person will just like la can just like lash out on you block you I've been blocked by someone who's a like Christian Christian before too but that's a Christian woman and woman guy dynamics that's an that's another ballpark um shoot I've even got a restraining order for from someone who's like Christian Christian but that was a difficult situation um, or kind of like an enhanced situation. Like that was like, that was all that banned from Virgo stuff. Um, so <laughs> let me write down my thing for this or see what I have so far from that last, from those last minutes of all that that I was talking about. But do, do Satanists actually do anything for the world? Like, think of all that, like, Christians do hurt, and they also add good. But, like, yes, this the Satanic Bible has become, like, a, like, renowned, I think, to some degree. Or it's, like, stirred up, maybe it's stirred up conversation, like, it's a, it's a thing. But what has Satanism actually done for the world? Like, Christianity, you got missionaries out there preaching which is towards their own narrative um that is maybe true it's maybe a true narrative um because maybe we maybe you do go to hell if you're not saved but then maybe that's not but then maybe that's not all of reality or maybe, maybe that's not the reality or just a partial understanding of the fullness i don't know but maybe that's the fullness that's what they say so and they, like it's a huge message it's a like it's a it's a it's a big thing christianity that effort that mission mission that potential truth that they believe is truth um but like what do satanists do for the world like yes christians hurt like end up annoying people hurting people and then but then also helping but like like, besides the preaching, like, Christians, like, help the world. Like, what do Satanists... Do? I mean, Satanists might have, like, they, like, it's not like I've gone online and looked at, like, what not, like, contributions they do to the world. Like, they might be doing something, but, like, at the level of what Christians do, probably not. And haven't been around as long. But I mean, it still might be good that someone spoke up. Not that they're the only people that spoke up. Like, shoot, Christians have maybe spoke up because, like, look how many denominations of Christianity there are. Like, but I wonder if Satanism will be like a passing fad or if it will grow or. I'm not gonna, I can't, <laughs> like. That's not going to quite be me. Um, but, uh, have gotten some out of this, especially with this business. If I'm perceiving correctly from Taoism, from Christianity, from Islam, from Satanism, the books that I've read with each of these, there's been like a blessing or a, I mean, maybe, maybe I shouldn't put it as blessing, I don't know, but there's been a something received or a growth or something. But growth, growth, may, I should almost say, but blessing kind of captures it better than growth, but blessing maybe has implications that I maybe shouldn't be saying. Um, but like, like what I got to, 
in the last five to ten videos, roughly or something, of this series, like just the places I was going to, like like just perception wise or like where I was, like that's something. What God did in 2016 was something that's Christianity related. The Ramadan stuff that I started in like and then like with Taoism, like not having a place from last year and the like what what's come out of that or what that journey has been and like It's something that I maybe didn't, like, notice at first, but, like, for each, like, the Book of, even the Book of Mormon, there's something. Like, there's, like, a gift, or, like, or maybe, like, there's, like, a gift or, like, a, like, something. There's, like, a, like, a gem or something from, like, and I'm not just talking, like, like, some type of, like, like, the, it's almost like a blessing or, like, a, or a gift, or a treasure, or a tool, or a strength, or a level up, or something from like each of these. The only spiritual text that I've read is there any spiritual text that I've read that I haven't gotten something? And I and like like I said, I don't think I notice this effort, but when I like I think about it, like for each of these, I think there's something. So that means whatever I read, oh, but I was going to, I wonder if I read it because I was thinking of reading a history book next year, which is kind of what I wanted to do. Like, I've been trying to read that history book. Last year, I was trying to read Taoism and the history book. And then this year, I ended up reading the Satanic Bible. Next year, if I read the, if I read the, his, the, the um, National Geographic history text or whatever, will I get something that's kind of cool we, we shoot, shoot, I'm, I'm out here getting treasures and stuff because that is how God has it I feel like I might be missing a thing that I should have wrote written so I don't know for sure but let me think I actually for a book idea which would be a good book idea like the blessing of the books thing Unless I change it from blessing, if blessing is inappropriate or something, or but isn't isn't it kind of but because is is God not the one doing it? Like so then, can't I call it the blessing of the books? I don't know, but um, but that could be a book idea. This year, Jesusism was a book idea, but the rap that I ended up making that might do good for now, like because of that rap, it doesn't like what would I like I this. Does a book even I had a zeal early this year where for that book or there is like all this juice or something and I like wrote like I don't know I want to say eighteen pages if that's right uh, or something and I even wrote like idea actually I already laid a template out actually but is it the Jesusism stuff or is it the Young Ninja stuff but. So, I mean, I guess I actually kind of have a template that I could just modify, but, like, as far as a Jesusism book, like, with the rap that I have done yet another draft on recently, I would think, I would think since... I, I would think I've done another draft. Not that I've talked about drafts of that rap on here necessarily. Maybe I have. But I would think since the last video for this, I've finished another draft. I would think. Because I, I feel like I haven't done this for a bit. Could be wrong, though. But whether I finished another draft since the last time I've done one of these videos, like I've done multiple drafts. And like that... I think is touches base on the Jesusism thing for for now maybe but the blessing of the books thing like talking about like my journey like not having a place but all that all that this journey was for me especially last year um or just to just talk like to talk about that journey or to talk and to talk and it would also I mean if it's the blessing of the books I guess it would also be like talking about the different things reaped from 
in connection to different religions or books, but like, but, um, where, where, where am I? <laughs> Was there something else I was supposed to say? Like, I feel like I'm not quite at what I was trying to say. Like, I... Blessing of the books. The different books, the different religions. But that's something I might... That's a book idea. For... But yeah, to talk about, like, yeah, I already said, I feel like I'm missing something, kind of, in relation to the Blessing of the Book stuff, but, um, Blessing of the Books, different religions, different books. Taoism, Christianity, Islam. Book of Mormon, the Satanic Bible. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was... <laughs> oh, I wonder if this, this this might be what was the thing that is was eluding me, maybe. Um, there's a little child that, like, has touched my heart um that I've been that I've hung out with in the last like few weeks and she has she's like she's young she's like 10 but she has a tendency to like I think she says like I'm she's evil or she says like or and she likes like dark things kind of I mean not like at least as far as, like, stuff that she watches, maybe, or shows or things like that. But she doesn't say Satan, but dark stuff she, like, likes. And she and she's maybe called me a demon, and she maybe is called... I don't know if she's called herself a demon, but she's called herself evil, I think. And I keep saying, like, no, you're not evil. But... Um... But yeah, nothing about Satan, really. I don't think she really says that stuff about Satan. But she's kind of into dark stuff. <laughs>